Children of a different time, dressed up as young pioneers, the East German youth movement. It's an image deeply rooted in the memory of everyone who grew up under the socialist regime. For today's children, this exhibition in Berlin is a chance to discover their country's recent history. So what have they learned? That there used to be a wall in the middle. The separation between East and West. That people didn't have the right to read certain letters. That before there were comic books that people weren't allowed to read here. The idea behind the exhibition is to show East Germany through the eyes of children. And they don't shirk from showing the dark side of life behind the Iron Curtain. The travel restrictions, the lack of democracy and the absence of freedom of expression. They're confronted with children who lived under the regime of East Germany, who wrote intimate diaries, essays and letters. And these essays, these letters and documents were given to us by people who lived in East Germany. Many historians think the school curriculum doesn't go into enough depth about this recent part of Germany's history, just 20 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Since then, a whole generation has grown up, a generation which didn't live through all that, and which often demonstrates a terrible ignorance about even the most basic things. Exactly what this exhibition is trying to redress, and it seems to be working. The children who come here are very touched. They're often also surprised and flabbergasted. There's a lot of information which is of course new to them. I think above all the exhibition leads them to ask themselves questions. Questions designed to ensure that the next generation grows up with the tools to take a hard look at their own country's recent past.